We're now going to look at performing unattended installations. So let's go back here to our virtual machine where we have WDS or Windows Deployment Services installed. And I have here an unattended.xml file. I have it open so you can see it. And what we have is all of those answers to those things that uh, we normally have to click through. So the image name and here is the actual install.wim file. All of those things we've looked at in previous videos. And this has answers to those things that um, uh, that normally we would have to answer. And in fact, um, it has answers to some of the things that we don't always have to answer that are supplied for us. So here is, for example, the language that we um, that we chose and so on. So all this stuff is answered for us so that we can just start the installation and walk away. Now let's take a look at where that is, where we would set that up in our WDS system. So I'm going to go over here to Tools and down to Windows Deployment Services. And we'll just take a look at our images. So I'll go to my DC2 to the Install Images. We'll open up our images and let's say that I'm setting up server standard in this case. So I'm going to right click on that and go to properties. And you see down here I have allow image to install in unattended mode. So I'll check that and click select file. And all I have to do is add that unattend.xml file. Now, of course, I'm assuming that that this file is correct for that particular image and I'll click open and OK and select that and now if somebody tries to install using that particular image off it will go and it will all install without answering any questions and it will be an unattended install.